Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Anam Bhavana Sapakna. Close your eyes. Think about where your true treasures are. They're inside. Where your true safety is, it's inside. So bring your attention inside. The world outside is a dangerous place. But it's dangerous because of our own minds. We're trying to find happiness out there. We're looking in the wrong spot. We have to find happiness inside. And the happiness we find inside is safe. No one can take it away from us. And the qualities of mind that we develop as we train the mind, those are our true treasures. People can take away our outside belongings. But they can't take away the good things we've developed in the mind. So keep this in mind as you focus your attention inside. Focus it on the breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. And keep your mind with the breath, because we want to eventually focus on the mind. But the best way to do that is to catch it first. And John Fuhring said it's like catching eels. His image isn't pretty, but it's effective. He says you're, you're trying to catch eels. If you try to just grab hold of the eels, they'll slip every which way. But if you take a dead dog, stick it in an old clay jar, and stick that down in the mud, the eels will all come into the jar, and then you have them. The same way, the mind likes pleasure. So give it a pleasant place to stay here in the present moment. So once it's here, then you can watch it. As it turns out, the real dangers are not so much outside, it's our minds wanting to find happiness outside. That's the danger. And the things that we do to find that happiness sometimes are not all that skillful. So that's a double danger. So you want to be able to watch the mind to see when it moves. And to do that, first you have to get it very still. Otherwise everything is in movement. It's like being born on a train as it runs through the, the prairies. You look out and the prairies are moving and the clouds are moving and the trees and the houses and everybody is moving. You have no idea what's solid and what's safe, because everything from your point of view is moving. But if you, the train stops, you get out and look around, then you can see oh, the houses don't move, the clouds move, the trees don't move. You get an idea of what's solid and secure inside and what's not so dependable. So try to make the mind as still as you can with the breath, and make the breath pleasant so it's a good place to be. Think of that pleasure seeping out throughout the whole body. As the Buddha says, you want to take the sense of pleasure you get as you focus the mind steadily and let it permeate and pervade the entire body. There's a sense of fullness and well-being inside. That way the mind isn't so hungry to go looking outside. And when it does start looking outside, you can catch it, see what it's doing, why it's doing it. And that way you protect yourself from all kinds of dangers. because your security lies inside where it belongs and where it's really safe.